We are not all called to be preachers, but all of us who follow Jesus Christ will be disciples and we will be witnesses for him. I've just come out of hospital and I've been there for an extended time. I was in ICU for more than four weeks. But it was all by the plan of our Lord and Master, because he sent me in there to be his witness. I had the opportunity to witness to so many nurses and doctors and hospital personnel. We are here to be witnesses for Jesus, and he gives us the opportunity to witness for him. If we love Jesus Christ and he is our life, then we will use every opportunity to witness for him and to shine for him. The first thing that nurses normally ask me is, where do I come from? Because I've got an accent. And then I tell them I come from South Africa, and they ask me, why am I here? And then I say, because God sent me. And then I can start and I can give them my whole testimony. How I had a heart attack and I died and I went to hell, even though I was a Christian and I thought I was saved. I can share with them how I truly got to know Jesus Christ and how he sent me to come and share the true gospel of Jesus Christ. It is our duty and our privilege to be witnesses for Jesus. You do not learn to witness for Jesus. You witness for Jesus Christ because he is real to you because he is your Lord and Master, because he is your life, because you truly believe in him. We are not all called to preach, but we are all called to be witnesses for Jesus. And if we do not witness for him, and if our light does not shine for him, then we are not worthy of him. Jesus said that if we deny him, he will certainly also deny us. It is easy for us to talk about other things, about our achievements, about our country, about our children, about our family, and about our education, about our work, but those things are not important. What is important is Jesus Christ and his kingdom. If Jesus is the center of our life, then that is what we will be talking about. We will not struggle to witness for Jesus Jesus will be the first name and the first thing on our tongue when we speak to people. We will be living witnesses for Jesus Christ. We witness for Jesus because he is real to us, because he is our Lord and Master, because he is our life. And if we do not have that desire to constantly witness for Jesus and talk about Jesus, then our relationship with him is just not right. Is our relationship with Jesus right? Are we shining lights for him? Are we worthy ambassadors for the kingdom of God? Do we truly know him and therefore do we witness about him? If we do not know Jesus for real and if we do not follow him and do not witness for him, then he will one day say to us, go away, I never knew you. Do we really know Jesus? Do we love him and are we worthy witnesses for him? Jesus is Lord. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is the final authority. He is God Almighty. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we must proclaim his name. We must proclaim his kingdom and proclaim his glory. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know him and follow him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. My Jesus bless you.